What's going on guys? Been looking forward to making this video for a while now. Um, got so much cool Mets stuff to show off. But first, gonna show off a couple other things. Got finally a uh, Topps Redemption in. This one, I was actually thinking about replacing it, but I waited it out. And it is from 2013 Inception. It is the Relic Base Autograph of James Paxton. So happy to get that. Was a complete surprise, wasn't expecting it to come in. Then I got a 50-50 return from Ryan from CLE Fan 7 Autos. He got me Clint Frazier on two and a half elevens. This one, him and Austin Meadows. And this really nice one from the Under Armour game. So really cool. Sorry for my slurring my words. I'm just really tired. I'm gonna go to sleep in a little bit. Next one. Um, TTM, this one is really, I'm really happy to get it back, but I'm also really pissed off about it, because last year I went through this phase where I used this really, really horrible paper, um, from Staples, and it does not hold the autograph at all, so, um, got this back from Landon Donovan, a soccer player, you guys probably have all heard of him, but, um, signed this really nicely, USA photo, Really, really beautiful autograph right there. Um, then signed this one of him playing at Everton. And this one of him with the Galaxy. Which, they all look great, but, I mean, the only problem is this paper sucks. And if you can see... There. It looks absolutely horrible. Especially, like, the number 10 and this whole loop over here. It's all bubbled, which sucks, so I'm going to have to send out again and wait another year to get them back. What are you going to do? Um, did two Mets games this week. First one was on Monday, and the second one was today. Here's the two tickets from the two different games. Both played the Phillies. Both games would bloom out, which is good. We lost yesterday pretty bad, but I wasn't at that, thank God. Did a bunch of good graphing. Got a grab bag and got yet another game used baseball. So that's the third one I've gotten. Here, I'll stack them all. Back here, one, two, there we go. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess, but they're just nothing special. And they're not even from this year, which uh, kind of stinks, but what are you going to do? Um, yeah, that's that. Then, hmm, made a trade. Uh, I'll get back to the Mets in a second, but made a trade with Garrett, card cutter, for this really nice Noah Syndergaard ball. Really happy to get that. It's my first ball of his, obviously. Um, what's it called? I, I'm sorry. I'm really tired losing my train of thought here. Yeah, obviously, Syndergaard's like my favorite prospect. So happy to get that ball. Next, IP Graphing Mets. Monday, I got Travis Darno to sign this debut ticket from San Diego. If you know Kyle from uh, Sid's Graphs or Sid's Autographs, whatever his YouTube is. He sent this to me last year, and I got Darno to sign it, and he put MLB debut, which is really cool. Uh, he liked that a lot, like signing that. And then I was able to score Curtis Grandison on this really nice 8x10 of him this year. He signed it up there very nicely, um, playing against the Yankees. So, really cool. Okay, this is going to be a problem because I have a couple 8x10s i got to show off. But, um, give me a sec here. I'm going to set this up properly. Okay. Is this going to... All right, that'll work. So, there's that. And now today, I went down as soon as I walked into the stadium. I got there a little late. But uh, Vic Black was signing. And I had him sign this 4x6. It's actually the first time I've ever gotten him. So, I had him sign that. Oh. This card... And I also had a red sparkle one of these, which I had him sign. He really liked it. He said he'd never seen the red one before. But I actually ended up giving that to my 7-year-old cousin who just started collecting autographs. So, that's that. And I did get Grandison again today. Had him sign this shot from the press conference. Signed this one a lot nicer down there. Really a full autograph. Okay, and I also had him sign Heritage for my set. Happy with that. And then went to Steiner signing today. Just got home about, what time is it? I don't know, about two, three hours ago. But, um, yeah, did really good. I probably spent a little too much, but I just 
the meeting the guys was amazing. I was just so nervous just because these guys are like my heroes. Not heroes, but um anyway. First one, eight by ten signed by Juan Lagares. Looks really nice. Could have signed it a little bigger, but he was signing everything the same size, whether you had a ball, card, four by six, eight by ten, sixteen by twenty, twenty by twenty four, whatever, bat. He was signing everything like that. Next one, Dylan G. He was really nice. I had a quick conversation with him about just stuff. So, it's that. Then the probably second to best one, if not best, Zach Wheeler. I had him sign this 8x10. I, on Monday, I got to the stadium. When I walked down, he was actually signing down the first baseline. As soon as I got to him, he stopped. So, I was really bummed that I had to shell out all this cash to get him today, but... You know, he was a really cool dude. Got a nice picture with him. Um, so, that's that. Oh, sorry. Some uh, behind-the-scenes problems over here. Um, oh, God damn it. Sorry about this, guys. Give me one second. I'm just trying to put some stuff away. But, Zach Wheeler was a really cool dude. Glad I got to finally meet him. And the last one is the best one, I think, at least. Um, th this guy, I think, is going to win Rookie of the Year. If you probably already know, but I had a really great conversation with him. Got a picture of him. Great guy. Could have signed it a little bigger, but um, obviously not going to complain. But I got a ball sweet spotted by Jacob DeGrom. So, very, very happy with that. Glad to meet him. He's a great guy. Um, obviously, at a paid signing, he's going to be good because I heard he's a douche outside. Oh, outside. Sorry, that was my hand on the table, I promise. But, um, <laughs> I heard he's a dick outside of signings. But, anyway, really happy to get that, that, all those 8x10s. Been really, been doing really well lately with the Mets. I still have about 7 or 8 games left in my plan. So, looking forward to the next couple weeks. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoy that, and I will catch you later.